want to come out? You want to come out in the sun? I'm not going to have many more trips left before winter here, pal. He's getting ready to shed pretty soon, too. Hey, you want to come out? Come on. Come on if you want to come out. No more nose rubbing. I brought you out. No more nose rubbing for you. Come on. Well, if you want to come out, you better. I'll sit here and wait for you to decide. I never force myself on my snakes. I think it's given them a negative message. So I prefer to let them do things on their own. We don't have many more nice days like this to bring them out. So You got a runny nose. You've been rubbing your nose. Shame on you. He wanted to come out for the last three days. I haven't been able to bring him out. Look at you. Look at that. Where you've been rubbing your nose to come out. Tell me these snakes aren't attracted to people and they don't enjoy your company. Come on. Sorry I'm shaky. He is a big load to haul around <laughs> to bring out. Going potty already? That didn't take you long, too. He lets me know when he needs to come out in a sweet way, so I give him that. Other than that, he's been looking for a female really hard lately. Yeah. He's looking for a girlfriend. You can put your tail down if you're not going to use the bathroom. No, you can't. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You going to use the bathroom? The ground a little cool for you? It's a little later in the day. I don't bring them out in the hottest part of the day. Shame on you rubbing your nose to get my attention. Look what you did. Look what you did. Huh? You're not supposed to be rubbing your nose. I saw you. I was busy. I was busy feeding other snakes. I couldn't take you out when you wanted to come out. You're out now, so no more nose rubbing. All right? <laughs> my camera. Hi. Give me a kiss. Thank you. I got a kiss from you. Let's go get some exercise. Look at all this mess. My son was out here with this big heavy duty weed cutter today, ripping up the yard, cutting down these big tall weeds. There you go. Back to me, of course. Always back to me. Uh, don't get your nose stuck in my purse here. Yeah. If you try to get back in there, it's going to tip over because you're so big. You can make it tip over. Yeah, his whites are yellowish because he's going to be shedding. It takes him three weeks to prime for a shed. He's so particular. And he just will not start the shed until he knows everything's just right. And he has a perfect shed every time. God bless him. He's a perfect snake in every way. You're going to make it tip over. You're too heavy. It's going to fall over. You're going to make it fall over. <laughs> Okay, we'll just film you going back in then, I guess. You didn't want... Here it goes. Uh-oh. See what you did? You flipped it over. And that's laying on your back. Where's Joey? There he is. Oh, I am shot from hauling him out. He is one heavy carpet light on. Are you having fun? Anything to entertain yourself, I swear. You're silly. Anything to entertain himself. You goofy. You goofy. <laughs> 
told me snakes don't get bored. He finds the most amazing things to do to entertain himself. Oh, my snakes are like that. They get bored, they do anything they can to entertain themselves or something. Even if it means pushing all the newspapers to one end of the enclosure and piling it all up, and then pushing it all the way back to where it started from, or piling it up in a pile and sticking it in the water dish. They just, they love to entertain themselves, and they will if you don't give them some activities. They'll find a way to furnish it. They're notorious for entertaining themselves because they're so curious. You're just gonna keep playing with this plastic tote. I got 10 acres, why don't you go roam around somewhere and use the bathroom while I got you out? Huh? Why don't you go use the bathroom? Go roaming around a bit. I'm making this video for all the Chewy's fans. They're always saying hi to him and they love him. I'm sure if he met you, he'd love you too. I've never met anyone that he didn't like, except for a couple of strangers that walked into the yard up on me when I had him outdoors. He didn't like them at all. But other than that, he's very friendly and very social. I wish you'd straighten out in the line so I can show people how long you really are. Yeah, that would be nice of you. Straighten out for me. Huh? So nope, I'm trying to find something to entertain myself with. No, oh, let's not get tangled up on my keychain. There. It's not good for you. Or the bungee cord. Yeah. Sorry about all the moving around. <laughs> he gets into stuff. You don't need to be messing with the cart. There. All better. Uh-oh. You got a lid on you. See what you did? You don't need to be on the cart. No, you don't need to be playing on that cart. Nope. They're really high energy animals and they love to get into everything. That's got a sharp edge. You can't be on there. No cart. No cart. It's got a sharp edge on the platform. And yes, I'm that fussy and picky. If you can avoid an accident, why let one happen? Chewy, you get back in there, it's gonna flip on you again. You're too heavy. You're gonna make it fall over on you again, you weirdo. And here he goes again. What are you doing? You're not getting on that cart. That's got a sharp edge. You're gonna flip. You're gonna flip it again. Uh-oh. No, he got smart this time. He put his head toward the other end instead of on this end. Anything to entertain himself, I swear. Sorry about the finger in front of the lens. I don't pay it much attention when I'm filming. I just enjoy being out with them, so that's pretty much all I do. To show people how cool they are. strange one. And he's still coming. Ugh. No, he's still over here with me. You gonna make me have to chase you around? No. No, 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 no cart. That cart has a sharp edge on it. Oh my God, you're just all over the top of me, Julie. I guess I'm grounded. He's laying across me. <laughs> You're weird. Man. Look how big you are. You're just huge. We usually have rabbits and woodchucks running around out here in the yard. You don't see anything out here when I have Chewy or Grumpy outdoors. They're just gone, out of sight. He's still coming. Oh, we finally found the end of your tail. I can't see what I'm filming because the sun's in my face, but. Beautiful out today, huh, Chewy? 
Now I take in the house and wash down your enclosure and clean it up, put new papers in, fix it up pretty for you. He still has times where he looks for Jade. I know he didn't forget her. I've seen him sit and stare at her enclosure for hours, so he still knows a part of his life is missing. I'm sorry. I've seen Grumpy mourn when Nosy died, and I watched Chewy mourn when Jade died, so you're never going to convince me otherwise, other than what I've seen myself. These snakes were mourning terribly because of the loss of their mates. Hi! Hey. <laughs> you can't get on my camera, fool. You know better. It's really hard to film them because they don't stop moving. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, you're, you got to get on my camera. I can't film you. He keeps tabs on me when I bring him outdoors. He might be entertaining himself and going all over the place, but he always turns around to check and be sure I'm right here near him. So he watches what I'm doing. He pays close attention to what I'm doing. He proved that when a stranger walked up on me out here in the yard once. So yeah, they are aware of where you are and what you're doing at all times. Even though pre they're preoccupied doing something else, they know exactly where you are. And he'll come up every once in a while, flick me in the face with his tongue to say hi, and then he'll go about his business looking for something else to do. Busy bodies, that's what they are. <laughs> you gonna come back up the wall again? You gonna come back up? I'm not happy with you for rubbing your nose. You didn't have to do that to get my attention. I was busy. I couldn't bring you out. Cute little prehensile tail. It's not so little. You coming? Yeah, here we come again. Back to me. Back to my mama. Nah, <laughs> nah. Your camera hog. He loves, he spots my cell phone as soon as I pull it out of my uh, purse thing that I carry it outdoors. And as soon as I pull my cell phone out, he knows I'm filming and he comes right to me. What do you want? What you want? You don't know what you want today. You just want to get into everything. <laughs> You silly. Say, what are you doing way over there, Mom? Wiggle worm. Wiggle worm. Can't be still, save your life. Oh, he's not, he's gonna come get on me because I'm further away from him. I'm still here. <laughs> you know, they're so entertaining. I just love them to death. Definitely my favorite of all species to have as pets. You just can't beat having a big social friendly snake. There's nothing like it. They're just awesome. No cart. Let's not get the end of your tail on it. There we go. He doesn't sit still for two minutes. You could wear somebody out real quick. He's as big as most, well, not most, but a lot of reticulated pythons are. Just, he's a lot easier to handle because he's not flighty. But he's one heavy, huge carpet python. Compliments of BHB reptiles many years ago. Ten years old. He is. I raised him from an inch worm. Literally. What are you doing? Ugh.
You're something else. You're always into something. Come on. This way. You're determined to get on that cart. They can be... <laughs> You're going to fall over. Oh, no. Not on your butt. No, don't fall over on your tail. There. That's better. Sorry about that. You have to wrangle them. They don't stay still for long. He's going to flip it. Whoop. Maybe I can help you out with your cause here with my foot. I didn't put you in a tote to entertain you. I put you in it to bring you out. He's so long his tail hits the ground if I put him across my shoulders or around the back of my neck. So that doesn't work for me anymore. Now I've always brought them up to come out in plastic totes anyway, but I have had quite a few years I just brought them out wrapped around my neck and shoulders, but he's just too long for that now. What are you doing? Why don't you come over here so people can see your pretty face and your nose rub that you got. I'm upset with you.